Okay, let me bring in Ashley and Susan on this uh, because yeah. my head's exploding, so I'll <laughs> calm down. Ashley, you first. What do you think about this? Yeah. The guy comes to America, we give him refuge in California, of all places, and now he's yeah. hitting on the First Amendment. What's going on here? Yeah, well, he's lost the plot, to say the least. I feel like he's just hitting the self-destruct button here, a privileged, entitled young man that suddenly takes on the First Amendment, freedom of speech. Uh, you know what? George III tried that way back when, and how did it work out for him? You can't tell people one of the key elements of the Constitution. How dare he? He leaves the UK because he wants to safeguard his privacy and all mm. he's done is come to America and run down his family and now he's coming publicly on Oprah, now on some podcast, now he wants to run down the Constitution. I think as Nigel Farage said over the weekend, pretty soon he's not going to be wanted either side of the Atlantic. Well said. What do you think, Susan? Pretty soon. I think it's already here. So it's like going, being invited to a dinner party and then complaining to the host about the food. I think the First Amendment is probably one of the best things about America. And as you heard, also, if there wasn't a First Amendment, if there was a First Amendment in the UK, you wouldn't have Meghan Markle being able to complain about Piers Morgan and then getting him fired if he didn't apologize for his statements that were right. So maybe the UK should think about a First Amendment there. Uh, stay there, folks, because we've got senior palace aides, as in you know, Buckingham Palace royals. Senior palace aides reportedly want Harry and Meghan to give up their royal titles. To you, Ash, what do you think to that? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. They've turned their back. They've run down the family. Harry's moaning about Charles as his father's parenting skills, but really blaming the Queen for making him inadequate as a parent. Get lost, go, just drop the titles, move on. Are you with that uh, in agreement there, Susan? Yeah. Did you know that there's this new controversy involving Meghan Markle and Prince Harry? They just signed a deal with Procter and & Gamble. And given that they're anti-racism <laughs> and anti-racist, the Procter & Gamble actually sells skin cream that whitens skin. So there is, you know, huge controversies. If you're going to be this commercial, signing deals with P&G, Netflix, and Spotify, do you deserve to still be a royal? Uh, no, you don't. But that's another story. I've got to go because I've got to pack this one in.